What are the most buzzed about tech trends of 2016? Jeremy Kaplan, editor in chief of Digital Trends, a high tech lifestyle, is here to show you the best new consumer tech products coming to the market. Jeremy, good morning. Good morning to you. All right, so drones, smartphones, high tech vehicles, I mean, talk about a high tech lifestyle. What stands out the most this year at the market? Well, you can't talk about CES without talking about television. So, what I've got over my shoulder here, the LG EF9500. This is the finest television money can buy right now because it's got OLED technology built into it. Only LG really does this. It means the blacks are really, really black. The contrast levels are really, really great. And it's a 4K television, so you've got super crisp, super sharp picture. Really, really nice experience if you've got $5,000 to spend. Ooh, pricey. Well, I mean, sometimes the electronics do come at a high price, but we can't seem to live without them. So what about when it comes to smartphones? What's new with that? Uh, smartphones are one of the things we're seeing at the show, of course, but they kind of come out next month. There's another trade show where we're going to see a lot more from smartphones. But if you're talking smartphones, I, I want to show you off this, the Samsung Gear VR. This works with a smartphone, and for $100, it's the greatest smartphone accessory money can buy. It gives you a taste of the, of the virtual reality experience, and at $100, I really like that price. It's a great experience. Yeah, that is a great price. All right, what else do you have for us, Jeremy? So this is a really, really cool product from a company called Aussia. I know it looks kind of like a Star Wars drone. This is a wireless charger, which means plug this guy in your house somewhere, and as soon as you walk within 30 feet of it, all of your gadgets start to charge. How fantastic is that? No, no more plugging everything in all of a sudden. Yeah, forget the wires. It's just a tangled mess. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, they haven't even told, you, told me how much this thing is going to sell for yet. I think there's only two of them in the world. We've got one here for you. Is there anything with high-tech vehicles? I've heard a lot about uh, vehicles lately. That's one of the themes of the show, actually. Uh, traditionally, we have things like Detroit and L.A. They have these big auto shows. Increasingly, CES is where car companies are coming to show off their technology. Everyone's buzzing about self-driving vehicles, for example, and all of the major manufacturers are talking about this. In fact, some are saying as soon as, as little as four years from now, we're going to have self-driving vehicles on the road. I don't know if you find that cool or scary, but it's definitely coming. Yeah, well, you read my mind because I was thinking cool, but a little scary at the same time. But it's like, what else can they come up with now? Well, if you think about it, there are thousands, tens of thousands of deaths in the U.S. every year. Most of them are caused by people. And in theory, self-driving cars can eliminate all of those. It's almost a moral obligation of the car companies to do something about this. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's a great point. So now that you said that, I think I might be one of the first ones to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. One of the other things I wanted to show for you is drones. Drones are a big thing at the show. There are going to be 200% more drones at CES this year than there were last year. Uh, if you have a friend who has one, it's kind of a g uh, gadget or a gizmo, maybe not even practical. This from Unique, called the Typhoon, is a super practical, super useful drone. It has a 4K camera right in the back of it, and it has a thing called follow me mode. So you throw it up in the air, go take your mountain bike out. It will follow you around and take an incredibly high quality video of you. I think that's just fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you know, drones are all the talk right now, and I actually got one for my husband this Christmas, but after seeing what you just talked about, I think I got him the wrong one. <laughs> I'm sorry to put you in that <laughs> position. No, you got a great one, I'm sure. There's just a lot of really neat stuff going on in this space. Drones are going to become everywhere over the next couple of years. This is one of the neatest ones out there. Now, when is all of this going to be available to consumers, Jeremy? Well, some of the stuff I'm showing you is available right now. This television, for example, if you've got $5,000, you can go out and buy it right now. This, I'm not even sure when these guys are going to come out with it or when it's actually going to be or what it's going to sell for. One of the things about CES is we see a lot of things that are really awesome and some things that never actually become products. So it's sort of a taste of the future. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, anywhere we can go online to find more about these gadgets and gizmos that well, you talked about Well, we've got reviews today. of all of these stuff and all of the things coming out of the show at digitaltrends.com. We put up 150 articles yesterday just covering all of the crazy things that are coming out. Jeremy, thank you. So great to have you on the show this morning. Thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you. We're going to have more on these tech trends posted online to our website. That's at fox4morningblend.com. All right, and up next, we take a walk through nature, only this might be the scariest walk you've ever taken. A resident movie critic sits down with the cast of the horror film The Forest after the break. <laughs>